Hey guys, it's Kristen catching you on your lunch break today, talking to you guys about the one thing you should you should be doing in order to get clients as a virtual assistant. So this is going to be a little bit out of the ordinary as far as what I'm going to tell you today, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a story and why I really think that this will work for you. It's going to push you out of your comfort zone, so you have to be willing to get a little bit uncomfortable to land that first, second, fifth. 20th client as a virtual assistant. So if you are catching me live, please put live down in the comments. If you're catching the replay, definitely put replay in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Um, let me know that you're watching if you are here. So go ahead and put live in the comments. If you know somebody who would benefit from hearing this information, go ahead and click share and share this out to your followers. And I will give you a little bit of a shout out um, if you click, if you uh, mention that you shared this. So the one thing that you should be doing to get clients. So let me tell you a little bit of a story. And Kelly's story is a little bit the same way. So about this time last year, um, I was working with a business coach. She had been my business coach since about July. Um, we had gotten pretty close. She had really helped me build up my business. I went from zero to, I went from nothing, nothing to actually having um, two one-on-one -on -one clients that I was working with as a running coach. Um, but I knew I wanted more and I loved the behind the scenes work. I have been a blogger since 2010 and so I love everything that blogging has given me. I love working that behind, behind the scenes stuff and I love writing. Um, and so my business coach, um, she's not, she will tell you that she's not a gifted writer. She's more of a talker. Unlike me, I'm more of a writer than I am a talker. And so I would notice things in her posts all the time or, or in her emails that I'm like, oh man, that's just bad grammar or she didn't spell check or something like that. And so I just kind of put the feeler around like, oh my gosh, I would love to work with you. I would love to help copy edit your stuff, those sorts of things. And this was just on a business call. It wasn't anything like I didn't reach out to her or anything. I just kind of told her like, I love doing this stuff. You know, I'm, I'd be happy to help you if you ever need help with stuff like that. Um, and so I really hadn't heard back from her until a couple weeks later and she reached out to me and she's like, hey, I am beginning to launch this program and I would love for you to copy edit and create my workbooks for me. And boom, that was my first client. Literally, the one thing that I needed to do was reach out to them. So Kelly is amazing at this. She is so great at networking with people and she is not afraid to put herself out there and, and call up a client, call up a client and be like, hey, I love what you do with your business. Is there any way that you might need some help with, with getting stuff done? I, I run this virtual assistant agency and I would love to help you with your business so that you can find more time to be with your family, so on and so forth. Kelly's great at that. I'm, I struggle a little bit more, but literally that is how we have both gotten clients. We are willing to get a little bit uncomfortable and tell people like why we love what they do, why how we could specifically help them. So one thing that I want you to think about, and one thing I want to challenge you to do today or sometime this week, write down a list of people that you would absolutely love to work with. Who would be your ideal client to work with? The, the reach does not have to be too high. Whether they are huge, I, I got a client as a, a running coach this year that I never would have gotten had it not been for referrals, but it doesn't matter who they are. If you put it out and tell them, I love what you do, I'm wondering if you could need some help, this is how I can help you, the worst thing that they can say is no. It, is that gonna do anything to you? It might make you feel bad for a minute, but you're gonna forget about it. So the worst thing that they can say is no, but if you don't ask, it's always gonna be a no. So you never know. And Kelly and I have gotten some really amazing clients just by simply reaching out to them and asking if they needed help. So I challenge you today or sometime this week to figure out who that client is, who's that person that you would absolutely love to work with and reach out to them. Ask them, hey, do you need help with this? I would love to help you. Here's, here are my strengths, here's what I can help with and see what happens. So after you get that first client, and, and don't just reach out to one, reach out to several. You can have more than one client. Kate, Kelly and I have a million. Um, that's how we feel sometimes. But reach out to them, and then um, if you do a really good job for them, they're going to refer you. So that's the great thing. I get a lot, a lot of clients from referrals, and that has helped me so much in, in Kelly and my virtual assistant business, but also in my running business as well. So you never know the the sky's the limit on this, guys. It's the limit. You you cannot find somebody who you can't help. So 
I want you to go out there. I want you to reach out to people and ask them if they need help and tell them what your strengths are and how you would be able to help them. So I hope that this helps you today and I hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. I will chat with you all later. Bye.